Hello there. Everybody, what's up? Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights, and I do mean exciting. Uh, we've got a great rematch for you today, though the, the first match was so, so long ago that you may not remember it. I'd be shocked if the players did either. Uh, but it's Kaiser Wang versus Thomas Scully 2. Uh, real great stories um, from both these players. Scully, his return year, uh, kicking it off uh, great, kicking the tournament off great, uh, making it to round two. Um, with a great win over Jacoby, who's been on fire this year. Kaiser uh, doing something no one has ever done before. I checked before the match. Um, first 16, first last seed in a tournament to make it to round two. Obviously, 16 seeds have made it before, but in like 32 person tournaments. But first person to upset the number one seed uh, in round one. Hopefully for him starting a Cinderella run, but he's got a heck of an opponent to go up against today. Let's see how both the players are feeling in the pro. I feel fucking sleepy. Uh, yeah, like Nick said, it happened two years ago. I remember that match somewhat. I'm, I mean, we're both we're, we're both different players, so hopefully there's a different outcome. But yeah, I'm not holding up for much hope. But let's just see what happens. Yeah, I was going to say this whole thing about Kaiser being like the unluckiest player in fandom and all that stuff, but then he beat the number one seed, so. Maybe his luck has turned, so I hope it comes back this one match and Kaiser just, like, fucks up some stuff and, like, loses. I like Kaiser as a person. Like, he's one of my favorite people in this community. But I'm hoping this continues your run and stops his run. So let's just play. Let's do it. I am also tired. My legs hurt. Been doing a lot of walking. Luckily, I'm sitting down now, uh, so let's get into this match. Uh, round number one is going to work like this. There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fan of fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, I will say pens down, at which point the players will reveal their answer and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece. Should any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each uh, player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Uh, players, any questions? We get into round number one. Wait, your first question comes in the category of DC. Oh, what is the yeah, name? Bro. The organization led by Raz Al Ghul that trained Batman and Batman begins. Not a bad one. You throw all the DC movies in a hat, pick one out. It's likely you just put your hands in shit, but not a bad Hello. one. Picked a good one there. Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Scully. Kaiser, you're on, but I yawn. It's really contagious. Uh, League of Shadows. <laughs> and Kaiser. The League of Shadows. Oh, so. The League of Shadows is correct. Point of peace. We move to the next question, which comes in the category of American Spies. Who kills political officer Ivan Putin in the hunt for Red October? Um, I know where you can find it. It's in Rhode Island. Um, like mid-October is when the leaves kind of turn red. And then don't need to hunt for it. It's kind of just readily available to you. Answer's in. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. That is Kaiser's first repeat. Question again. Who kills political officer Ivan Putin in the hunt for Red October? Um, 
been walking around the city a lot. My legs hurt. Got more wands. Got two more. I have a problem. You can never have too many. True. I don't want to say who, just in case there are answers to questions at any point in this match, but I'll, maybe I'll reveal it to you. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Pens down, go to Kaiser. The Vilnius Schoolmaster. <laughs> and Scully. <laughs> Ramius. That's Ramius. Mito Ramius is the correct answer. Scully will take the 2 1 lead. Let's go to the next question, which comes in the category of the MCU. What comedian plays Zha Ling's assistant John John in Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings? Oh God! Oh, wait. I since I said they are a comedian, I've seen this person's uh, special stand up. Wait, check. and it's a good time. Wait, wait, check. Do recommend. Wait, what? Um, yeah, like I said, I'm tired. You're just walking places and it's, it's just not worth it. Everything smells. People are kind of mean. I need to move. Five, four, three, two, one. And Zan will go to Scully. Said Lil John. <laughs> and Kaiser. <laughs> I actually don't know who you're talking about. I said Chen, Chen Fala. Both, unfortunately, incorrect. We're looking for Yon, uh, Ronnie Cheng. Ronnie Cheng is the answer. Uh, can, can you repeat the, like, the question? Who the hell is that, who the hell is, is that guy? Uh, what, what comedian plays Zha Ling's assistant, John John, in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings? Oh, okay. I thought you said husband. I was like, wait, she has a husband. I'm like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, <laughs> two to one. Scully the lead as we move to the next question, which comes in the category of Law and Order. The main villain briefly poses as Bob Thompson from the city engineer's office in which Law and Order film? <clears throat> Almost had a voice crack, but I think I saved it. I just kind of yelled halfway through the sentence there. The main. Cover it up. Um, so, yeah, I got two more ones. Want it? I want like a mini thing. I should stop talking about Harry Potter just in case. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Kaiser. Die Hard with a Vengeance. And Scully. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Die Hard with a Vengeance is correct. Still one point game. Let's move to the next question. It comes to the category of DreamWorks. In what specific race does Turbo wish to compete in Turbo? Gem of a flick. Um, this might be the first time I remember seeing a trailer and going, "That's stupid." Why is that a movie? I vividly remember the Turbo trailer. I said that about Rango, and then I liked it. Hey, yeah, that's fair. Rango looks looks weird from the outside. Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Scully. Indianapolis 500. And Kaiser. Oh, God. Indianapolis 300. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Indianapolis 500 is where we're looking for. It's oh, like Kaiser a new race, right? right? If, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> you did. A, you got the race, right? Yeah. Yeah, you did. You got the first part right. Uh, four to two. Scully leads. Let's move to the next question, which comes in the category of James Bond. Which James Bond vil main villain has a man who won't agree to his plan thrown off of a blimp? Wait, what the hell is a blimp? Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Never mind. I think I know what movie you're talking about. Okay. I, I feel I bad because I feel like I should be able to blimp? <laughs> But I don't know if I can. <laughs> we'll get answers. <laughs> Five, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping this is the correct. three. I am as well. Two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Kaiser. Please be Goldfinger. And Scully. Max Zorn. Wait, what? Uh, 
So the answer is Max Zorin. Oh man. Or I N. So I don't think I can accept that. Um Kaiser the a blimp is like a big airship Zeppelin uh, thing. I don't know if that helps. But like that. Zorin, Max Zorin is what we're looking for. So same score, four to two. Oh my As god. To the next That's question, true, true, true. which yeah. comes in the category of sci-fi icons. Who plays Dana Barrett in Ghostbusters? God, I hate not Those were both that because of the fucking book hit. Those were both heartbreaking for different reasons. Of course, the one match I wear glasses, I, I forget the eyes. <laughs> that was clever. Um, damn, that was just... As, as an impartial host, I was like, I feel bad for both of them. God damn it. The answer is in five. Four. I mean, yeah, it was either Goldfinger or it was really Max Zorin. So I was like, one. Pets <laughs> down. We'll go to Scully. Sigourney Weaver. And Kaiser. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver is correct. Five to three as we move to the next question, which comes to the category of the world of DC. Which Worlds of DC film features a jailhouse fight while the fire alarm sprinklers are going off? One of the buildings I oversee here caught on fire recently. It was not a fun time. Not even bad, just like a little thing caught on fire and it was enough to like make the whole building move somewhere else for a week, which really just put a damper in my, That's crazy. my week. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Kaiser. Suicide Squad. And Scully. Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey is the correct answer. Uh, so Scully widens the lead six to three. Let's move to the penultimate question, which comes in the category of YA. What does Lucy Gray do for work after winning the Hunger Games in the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes? Lucy Gray. Um, I'm going to name my child name, com name color. So like, I don't know, Timmy Gold. What you doing, Timmy Gold? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Scully. She's a singer. And Kaiser. Tavern mu musician. Singer slash musician is what I have. So that is correct uh, on both accounts, seven to four. As we move to the final question, which comes in the category of creature features. Oh, oh. Who gets kidnapped along with the baby velociraptor and taken to Biosyn at the beginning of Jurassic World Dominion? Kidnapping's not nice. Don't do it. Just because all the cool kids are kidnapping doesn't mean you have to. Good God. Not Is that one of Kendrick's lyrics? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Kaiser. Uh, Maisie. And Scully. Maisie. Maisie is the correct answer, and that will bring us to the end of round number one. Scully has the lead eight to Kaiser's five, but anything can happen as we get to round number two. Here's how round number two is going to work. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight fan of categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Each player will get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. You'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you like check down multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one. And be on the lookout as stealing is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are James Bond, Disney Animation, Law and Order, Worlds of DC, Epic Adventures, Marvel, Wizarding World, and Criminal Underworld. Scully, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? That blimp thing would have been the weirdest challenge I would have tried to throw in my entire life. I didn't know how to do that one. Um, I think we go second. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> let's, let's okay, we're going to go second. Get the landmines out of the way. You got it. All right, then, Kaiser, this will be your first spin. And it's on Marvel. Should I keep it or spin again? Uh, let's just spin again. All right. This will be your second spin. 
And it lands on the wizarding world. That's better. That's better. Okay. Kaiser, I'll be giving you questions in the category of the wizarding world. Are you prepared for them? Sure. First question. Which wizarding world film features Harry eating a candy that causes steam to come out of his ears? Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. That is correct for two points. Your second question. Who plays Petunia Dursley, Harry's aunt in the wizarding world? Fiona Shaw. That is correct for two points. And the lead. Your third question. Which Hogwarts professor said the quote, I didn't get rid of the abandoned banshee by smiling at him? <laughs> professor Lockhart. That's correct for two points. <laughs> Kaiser, your penultimate question. In what specific location in New York do Newt and Jacob first find the escaped Arumpent in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? Why are there more than one zoos in New York? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, the Empire State Building, B, the Central Park Zoo, C, Grand Central Station, or D, the Statue of Liberty? Central Park Zoo. That is correct for one point. And Kaiser, your final question. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, what object is Hagrid carrying on his person while, ta while taking Harry to show him the dragons, which Harry questions him about? Oh. Carrying on his person. Five. Three. Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, umbrella, B, whip, C, flower, D, pipe? Flower. Yeah. Yes. That is correct for one point and a sweep of the wizard. About, about, about his like, perfume so on that. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, he gets a score up to 13. I think that's in the book. Guys, he gets a score up to 13. Fair Spelly enough. is still at eight. So we'll be back in Cody and the wheel. Uh, Scully, this will be your first spin. And this will be your first spin. <laughs> Lands on Spinner's Choice. Like that better. Um, we think in Epic. Can you give me a good amount of points in that? Yeah. Okay. I, I need adventures. eight so, or more. So let's go. Let's do it. Uh, epic Adventures. Sounds like a plan. Thomas Scully will be giving your questions in the category of Epic Adventures. Are you prepared for them? Let's do it. Your first question. Which Epic Adventures film features a location called the Devil's Triangle? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. That is correct for two points. Your second question. Who plays Willie Scott in Temple of Doom? Kate Capshaw. That is correct for two points. Please. Stop there. Your third question. What does the White Witch need from Caspian in order to be freed in Prince Caspian? Uh, blood. That is correct for two points. Scully, your penultimate question. In The Desolation of Smaug, Bilbo nearly kicks the key off the mountainside next to the secret door. Who stops it from falling? Thorin. That is correct for two points. And Scully, your final question. In The Last Crusade, Indiana Jones throws a Nazi soldier out of the window of a Zeppelin and tells everyone he did it for what reason? He had no ticket. That is correct for two more points. Um, apparently, sometimes I call blimps Zeppelins and Zeppelins blimps. But uh, wow. Scully with a clean sweep of Epic Adventures gets his score up to 18. If you said Zeppelin in wrong, I would have, I would have known what, what it was. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
18 to 13, a five point game. Uh, As again, reason number three, here's our round number three is going to work. It is the betting round. We have five more questions in the realm of fandom fights. Once players hear the category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions? We end around number three. Let's do it. No. First category you can bet points on is Disney animation. Well, let's get bets starting with Scully. Still one. And Kaiser. Two. Your question in Disney animation. Name two of the five types of animals who receive children from Mr. Stork before Mrs. Jumbo at the beginning of Dumbo. Oh, fuck. That's not a movie I have not seen. It's fair. It's short. Has that going for it? Sorry, I was talking to someone. Um, all right, we're gonna see if we can get some answers here in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Start with Scully. I said rabbits and deer. And Kaiser. I just named suckers and animals, giraffe and snake. Both, unfortunately, incorrect. The options were giraffe, bear, kangaroo, hippo, and tiger. Uh, no, I was thinking about tiger. Oh, all right. Some more circus animals, then. Uh, so with that, Scully will lose one point. Kaiser will lose two points. It's now a six-point game, 17 to 11, as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of James Bond. Let's get that starting with Kaiser. Two. And Scully. Two. All right, your question in James Bond. Which Bond film ends with the line, keeping the British end up, sir, after Bond is caught in bed with a woman? I have thoughts. Oh. Won't share them for sake of uh, not giving away stuff. But I have thoughts. Just know that. Five, four, three, repeat two. Repeat the question. That is Kaiser's second repeat. The question again. Which Bond film ends with the line, keeping the British end up, sir, after Bond is caught in bed with a woman? It's <sighs> one or two. The old Andrew Barr dilemma. Wait, am I even keeping that British? And we're making championships off that mentality. Sure did. Okay. Uh, I'm just guessing. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Start with Kaiser. The spy who loved me. And Scully. The spy who loved me. The Spy Who Loved Me is the correct answer. So, still a six-point game. Two points gained uh, by each player. It is 19 to uh, 13. As we get to the next category that you can take, uh, they can bet points on that category is Star Trek. Let's get bets starting with Scully. Two. And Kaiser. Two. Your question in Star Trek. Name four of the six characters who Khan leaves buried alive after stealing the Genesis plans in The Wrath of Khan. And uh, you'll have some more time since I'm asking for a lot. Um... I don't think I've had water all day. That's an issue I'm now realizing. I used to have friends, like, people would say, like, remember to drink water, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, who doesn't remember to drink water? And I just realized that I don't think I've done that all day. Well, not yet. I asked for a lot. Sorry. I'm going to give you a little bit of time. Now we'll count down. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Pens down. 
We'll start with Kaiser. Uh, I had Davy Marcus, Carol Marcus, Cook, and Savick. And Scully. Kirk, Carol, David, and Bones. And your winner, Thomas Scully. Uh, both answers were indeed correct, but with that, Scully puts it just out of reach. The six acceptable answers were Kirk, Bones, Chekhov, Savick, Carol, and David. Uh, so with that, Scully advances in the tournament yet again. Kaiser's sin short but still very impressive Cinderella story uh, has come to an end. Uh, wildly happy for both of these guys. Like I said, I think Kaiser's upset of the number one seed is something that will be remembered for a long time because it hasn't been done before. Um, but Scully, this has got to be a huge boost for him coming back uh, this season, testing himself, seeing if he's still got it. I definitely think he's got it. Now I think he's a pretty huge threat, threat to win this whole thing. So let's see how that goes. But first, uh, let's see how the players are feeling in some post-match interviews. Kaiser, um, one could say – you maybe could have maybe came into this match with nothing to lose. Um, technically, you weren't supposed to be here. Uh, as the six, you know, as the 16 seed, one would guess that you would lose in round one. You played the former uh singles champion in Abel, and now you, and you're playing the former singles and two times cha teams champion coming into this match. It was no easy feat, uh, that was set before you, but I think you performed very well. Uh, I think Scully is just back to form, and that's a very difficult person to play against. So how are you feeling about the match today? Um, should we call it a Zeppelin every time? Or? I mean, um, round one is just a bit annoying because, like, I'm pretty sure that if I actually had, had watched, I assume, F1, I would have I would have known what, what's the difference between Indian Bay 300, 300 and Indian Bay like 500. And I just don't know what the blink was. Like, it's not a word. I mean, so I, I think I've heard somewhere, but it's not what I bother to know the name of because, you know, Japanese aren't exactly that very common. Then round two is that, I mean, you probably, you all probably saw it. I was like, I know it's a zoo. The only zoo I know in, in New York is Central Park Zoo, but I'm pretty sure there's more than one zoo there. So I was annoyed. And the last clue and the Dumbo question, like, I've... Dumbo is one of the few movies in DC that I haven't seen. So I made an educated guess, which I my guess was not bad, but it turns out it was just that. And yeah, it just today was not my day, and that's fine. Yeah. No, Kaiser, I think that's well said. Um, we don't know at this current, I'm just checking schedules at the um at the moment, we will know whether or not you moved on in round two in the team's tournament, so we're gonna ignore that for the time being. But Kaiser, we will be seeing you again post tournament. Um, is there anyone you're hoping to play? Uh, not Abel. Okay. Abel. That's fair. Uh, maybe someone, someone, someone I haven't played, like Harvey, possibly, right? Sure. Those kinds of uh, people. Great. I can tell you, you will be winning, you will be playing uh, another loser of a quarterfinals singles match. So. Um, Javi's match already happened. We don't know what happened right now in real life, but we know what happened there. So, like, who knows? It's a possibility. Kaiser, uh, congratulations on a great performance and a great run uh, in this tournament, and we will see you again real soon. Thomas Scully, feels like you're back on time. I feel like I said this last time. Like, feels like you're back. But, like, now it's it's to the point where it was a close match. Kaiser made it a close match, but it never really felt like you were in danger. Um, like you kept control of the match the whole time. It felt like a very much a return to form if you weren't back to form already. Um, you've, you've now made it to another semifinals of a tournament. You've made it to a few before. Um, I believe all of those resulted in finals appearances, but I can't remember. You, you probably know better than I do. can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but Scully, fantastic match uh, against a good player. Like I said, Kaiser is the 16th seed. That, like, that just shows you how insane this tournament is because yeah. he could be the one seed on another given year. But um, beating him was no easy task, but you did it. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great. I mean, round one definitely felt like I was returning to form. The the, the Zorin, Zorn thing is, is going to piss me off a little bit, but um, still had the lead. And then Wheel was nice to me, but I mean, you know, you can still trip up on, on your strength, but ran it, felt very good about it. And then round three, you know, minimize the risk. Disney I haven't gotten back to in a while, so figured I would just take one because I knew he had a bet too. And then just just match him, match him point for point, and eventually the math would swing in, swing in my favor. So I feel, I feel really good. 
Uh, this is when I think number 21 for me in singles. So last one was, I didn't even realize the last one was the, the 20th one until. Yeah, I think I forgot to tell ago. you that. But, um, oh no, Scully, this is your 20th win. Oh, this is my 20th? This okay. Is your 20th I, win. I Congratulations. Was... You're the first person to make it to 20 wins. Wild shit. Uh, shows you've been around for quite a while and you continue to just make that points record, like the career right. points record, like even further out of reach for most people. Um, but yeah, I, I would say even I would say overall your return this year can be counted as a success no matter what happens in the tournament here going forward. Cody, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I think the difference between me and his previous manager, which I, is also in my cabinet now, um, I don't sugarcoat it with Scully. Like when I think he's played bad, I'll tell him he's played bad. What he needs to work on, I won't like. He'll be back and he'll do that. No, if he wants to win, he's got to make changes. He's got to study up on stuff. So I handle it that way. Uh, this is the first time since I've taken over managing him that I feel this comfortable with him moving forward. Like he played a really strong player in Kaiser, tired or not, um, blimp or not. I think like he played, he played real well and was able to handle. He shook me off like a lot in the final um, round too. Like he's like, I got this. Like, hey, just you go. He put two on James Bond. I went. I was like this in the back. He was he hit it, so it paid off. If he didn't, I would have ripped his ass later. But overall, he did. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, so overall, he, he I think he has what it takes. I think next round will really, really show because like he's he was title level contender when he played when he retired. Like he was up there in title matches. He played all the time. He battled you constantly. He battled a bunch of players. So he's got to get to the finals. I think. I think if he doesn't get to the finals, it, it's not a great season so far for him. He he has that aspirations. We have to get there. So next round, we'll see. But he Speaking really well of today. the next round, uh, Scully, we'll be moving on. Uh, and, and the people watching know who you're playing. We in real life don't. So uh, you will have one of two options. This could be just a run, a tournament run of you playing all Cinderella stories, people like spoiling those Cinderella stories because you could be playing either – the 13 seed Hobby Madden or the number five seed Ryan Payne in the semifinals. Ooh. Thoughts, preferences? Yeah, well, I mean, Hobby, I mean, I remember when Hobby came in, in, in into the league and I kind of told Co, I'm like, hey, like, like this kid has the juice. Like, 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 like this kid has what it takes. Um, and sucks that he hasn't been able to like sort of get to that point yet. Uh, but look, already if, if he's a 13 seed in the semis, he's already halfway there. Um, pain, I don't think I've ever played on any level whatsoever. I think this is the uh, first year you both are playing singles at the same time. <laughs> right. So that that's going to be probably the more objectively intriguing match. Just, 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 just to gauge like the kind of player he is. I haven't re- studied much about him. So whatever happens, happens. But look, I think, I think based the way I played today, I think I have a strong chance. I, I, I have as good a chance as anybody, maybe, maybe if not greater, to get to that to get to that championship game and advance to the title match. I've seen Javi play. I think Javi has what it takes. I like to see Ryan because I'm a co-manager with him. Um, but overall, I think Javi versus Scully would be a scary fight because I think both of them could be in the finals. So. Yeah. yeah, bring on Javi for the harder test, I guess. Sweet too. Well, Scully, congratulations on the win. We will see you in the semifinals once again. Uh, bye. I don't know how that ends. And that'll bring us to the end of this here fandom fights match. Uh, great match this time, and lots of other great matches going on. So be sure to check out all the other tournament matches going on. We are in the thick of it. Um, we're getting real close to mayhem. Mayhem's coming up soon, which is wild to say. But uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you to Kaiser, Scully, Cody. Thank you to Tim for editing this one, and thank you to all of you for checking out this great episode of Fandom Fights. Be sure to come back and check out another one. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.